latitude and longitude are imaginary lines used to locate the specific location of certain place on Earth. They can be found on a globe or map which is a representation of Earth. Latitude Latitudes are horizontal lines on a globe which are parallel from each other. For example, in this illustration of the globe, the horizontal lines which are parallel from each other are the latitudes. Latitudes are a measurement of distance north or south of the equator. The equator is the center of the globe. The equator is the line of zero degree that divides the Earth into the northern and southern hemispheres. Above the equator up to the North Pole is the northern hemisphere, while below the equator down to the South Pole is the southern hemisphere. Equator is the starting point in measuring the latitudes. Latitudes have special names. At 23.5 degree north, the Tropic of Cancer is located, while at 23.5 degrees south is where the Tropic of Capricorn can be found. These zones are tropical zones. The countries that are located in these zones experience a warm climate. On the other hand, the Arctic Circle is located at 66.5 degree north, and the Antarctic Circle is at 66.5 degrees south. The zones between the Tropic of Cancer and the Arctic Circle in the Northern Hemisphere and the Tropic of Capricorn and the Antarctic Circle in the Southern Hemisphere are called Temperate Zones. The countries in these zones go through four seasons, such as Winter, Spring, Summer, and Autumn Seasons. Finally, the areas within the Arctic and Antarctic circles are called polar zones that have a cold climate. We can infer that the closer the latitude is to the equator, the warmer the climate, while the closer it to the pole, the colder. Thus, there is a relationship between the latitude of a place and its climate. Now, let us talk about the longitude. Longitudes are vertical lines on a globe that meet at the North and South Poles. In this illustration, the vertical lines that meet at the North and South Poles are longitudes. Longitudes are a measurement of distance east or west of the primary region. Primary region is at longitude 0 degree at Greenwich, London, United Kingdom. It divides the Earth into the Western and Eastern Hemispheres. From 0 degree up to 180 degree west is the Western Hemisphere. On the other hand, from 0 degree to 180 degree east is the Eastern Hemisphere. Primary region is the starting point in measuring longitudes. Also, primary region helps establish the international dateline. On the globe, this line in front of you is the primary region, while the line at the back of the globe, which is the opposite of primary region, is the international dateline. On an overhead view of the globe, the zero degree is the location of primary region, while the 180 degree at the other side is where you can find the international dateline. On the map, this is how they look like. This is the primary region, and this is the international date line. The international date line designates the place on Earth where one day ends and another begins. It does not cut through any island or cause confusion of dates in country. When a ship crosses the international date line from west to east, it gains a day. From Monday, it will suddenly become Tuesday. However, if a ship comes from east to west, they lose a day. 
Thus, from Tuesday, they will adjust the day back to Monday. Here's the world time zone which is determined by the longitudes. Let us sum up. Latitudes are horizontal lines on the globe which are parallel from each other. While longitudes are vertical lines on the globe that meet at the north and south poles.